Right now, you probably already know about the RSI indicator, which helps you figure out when the market is overbought or oversold. But here's something you might not know. There are other versions of the RSI that work even better than the regular one. In this video, I'll show you one of those alternative indicators and a trading strategy that uses it. Let's get started. The Relative Strength Index is a powerful tool used by traders to understand how fast and big prices are moving in a certain direction. When you look at the RSI graph, it gives you a way to see how strong or weak a market has been recently. The RSI was created by a smart guy named Wells Wilder Jr., who was really good at analyzing technical stuff. He wrote a famous book called New Concepts in Technical Trading Systems, where he introduced the RSI. Since then, traders all around the world have been using the RSI because it's really helpful. Now, let's talk about the two important numbers in the RSI. 30 and 70. If the RSI value is below 30, it means the asset is probably selling for less than it should and might go up soon. If the RSI value is above 70, it means the asset is probably being bought for more than it's worth and might go down in price. Now, let's talk about using this cool new RSI indicator on your chart. First, go to your trading view chart and look for the euro against the USD pair in the 30 minute time frame. Find the wave trend oscillator created by Lazy Bear. This indicator is like an upgraded version of the regular RSI. Here's how it works. It looks at different levels on the RSI to figure out if the market is oversold or overbought. For overbought conditions, it looks at levels around 53 and 60. And for oversold conditions, it looks at levels around minus 53 and minus 60. This helps us understand when the market might be due for a change in price direction. But what's really cool about this indicator the zero middle line and the area around it. This line and area tell us about the current market cycle. If the area is above the zero line, it means the market is in a bullish cycle, which is when prices are going up. And if the area is below the zero line, it means the market is in a bearish cycle, which is when prices are going down. The wave trend values help us determine these cycles. When the wave trend average line crosses above the signal line and the area goes above the zero line, it means we're in a bullish cycle. This continues until the wave trend average line crosses the signal line downward, causing the area to go below the zero line, indicating a switch to a bearish cycle. The size of the area gives us an idea of how strong the wave is. To adjust the settings, just double click on the indicator in the settings panel Go to the Style tab, uncheck the first three plots and the last two plots. Change the appearance of the remaining two plots from across to a line. Also, make the third active plot white. Finally, make the lines brighter and thicker so they're easier to see. Great. Now let's talk about how to use this new RSI indicator for trading. To go for a long trade, wait for the wave trend to move above the lower green line after a period when the price has been oversold. This could mean that prices are about to go up. On the other hand, for short trades, do the opposite. Wait for the wave trend moving average to cross the upper red line downward after a period when the price has been overbought. This could mean that prices are about to go down. However, just like any other indicator, it's important to remember that this indicator should not be the only thing you rely on. Sometimes, especially when the market is going strong, it can give false signals. So, to make our trading strategy even better and reduce potential losses, let's add two more indicators to our chart. First, we're going to change a popular indicator in TradingView to help filter out situations where the market is overbought or oversold with low momentum. Look for the squeeze momentum indicator created by Lazy Bear. When you find it, double click on it to access the style settings. Uncheck the second plot and adjust the brightness of the first plot. Take a green color for both options. Do the same for the red options. Next, 
Let's add two band lines to the chart. Set the first band line at 0.05, and the second band line at minus 0.5. By using the squeeze momentum indicator, we can see that it would have helped us avoid some losing trades. Just remember, it's important to look at multiple indicators together to have a more complete trading strategy and minimize potential risks. Now, with the squeeze momentum indicator modified to detect when the market is overbought or oversold, we have a powerful tool that can help us make better trading decisions. As we look at the chart, we can clearly see a strong overbought area, which is confirmed by the squeeze momentum indicator. This tells us that a significant drop in prices is likely to happen soon. And just as we expected, our prediction turns out to be right. Similarly, we notice a major oversold condition at this point, with both the momentum and wave trend indicator supporting this observation. This suggests that a price increase is likely to occur in the near future. And once again, our prediction proves to be accurate. The main reason we decided to use both of these indicators together is to avoid making losing trades and the market is experiencing a strong trend. As we can see in this example, the price action shows a clear downward trend. However, if we only relied on the wave trend indicator, we would have received many false signals. Fortunately, because we also consider the squeeze momentum indicator, we are able to completely avoid taking any trades during this period, as the momentum does not indicate an oversold condition. Now, let's dive into the final indicator in our toolkit. Look for the pivot point super trend created by Lonesome the Blue. Unlike the regular super trend, this indicator takes past pivot points into consideration to determine if the market is trending or not. Additionally, it helps us stay aligned with a trend for a longer period compared to the standard super trend. Here's how it works. When the indicator is color in a bright shade of green and the price is trading above it, it suggests a bullish trend. In this situation, we should focus on executing by trades. On the other hand, when the indicator is colored in a strong shade of red and the price is trading below it, it indicates a bearish trend. In such cases, we should concentrate on initiating sell trades to improve our entry points. We need to adjust the indicator settings double-click on the indicator and go to the input tab. Here, change the ATR factor to 5 and the pivot point period to 3. These changes will help us identify favorable trading opportunities more effectively. And there you have it. We have made the necessary adjustments to the indicator settings. Now, let's talk about how we can make trades using this setup. To make a long trade, we need to meet certain conditions. First, the squeeze momentum indicator should go below the lower band line and turn red. This tells us that momentum is low and oversold. Second, the wave trend indicator should also cross below the lower green band line, indicating that the price is low and oversold. When both momentum and price are oversold, there's a higher chance of the price going up. Lastly, we need the pivot point super trend to give a new buy signal. This means the price is likely to go up. If all these conditions are met on a specific candle, we'll enter a long trade. To manage risk, we'll set a stop loss below the most recent low point. And for the take profit level, we'll set it at two times the risk we're taking. This way, our potential reward is two times greater than the risk we're taking. We'll let the trade run its course and close it when we've made a profit. For short trades, we reverse the first three conditions. The squeeze momentum indicator should go above the higher band line and turn green, indicating overbought momentum. The wave trend indicator should also cross above the higher red band line, showing that the price is high and overbought. When both momentum and price are overbought, there's a higher chance of the price going down. We also need the pivot point super trend to give a new sell signal, indicating that the price is ready to move down. Again, if all these conditions are met on a specific candle, We'll enter a short trade. To manage risk, we'll set a stop loss above the most recent high point. And for the take profit level, we'll set it at two times the risk we're taking. This keeps our risk reward ratio at 1 to 2.
We'll let the trade play out and close it when we've made a profit. Now, what do you think about this improved RSI indicator approach compared to the original RSI? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. All right, traders. I hope you found these fantastic indicators I shared with you today enjoyable. If you could take a moment to like this video, I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.